Good morning, my people. This is Stuart Smith from Stuart Designs. We are here in Hudson, New Hampshire, working with John Denley from Boneyard International, working on a site for the Ohio Zoo and Aquarium. So right now you see that these thermal form panels haven't been touched yet. The site has been painted Battleship Gray. Uh, we're about to come in and paint these bad boys Battleship Gray as well, so we can continue on. But I want to show you guys what we've done with them. So around the corner, we got about three quarters of this bad boy done. So here we go. We do that on the tombstone one, on the, on the coffins. And then what we've done is done a wash of black and white onto the gray. Some of the subjects will have that red tone to it. Most will not. And then we're gonna be putting cracks and all sorts of nasties, maybe some gooey guys in the center, stewy gooey guys. But these are ready to go. Very simple, watered down black, and then spritzed with white, kind of gives a whole granite look. And then when we sit there and come along, we'll be putting cracks in like we did the other part of the site. But these are ready to go. We're gonna be putting black in the windows here, and then some broken out glass. Well, they have animatronics, they'll have all sorts of things in here. Uh, but, you know, we're painting it up, they're going to tear it down, ship it out to Ohio. And uh, this is uh, August 6th, and uh, you're not seeing this video until October. But this is what we're working on right now. I have a couple more days left, and then I can go home. But uh, we did all this yesterday, just stain it up. We painted the panels Battleship Gray and then washed it. And these work out so nice, especially underneath the lighting. Um, so I don't know what colors per se they're gonna be using, but I know they'll have some really nice um, green tones, blue tones, and then some fog machine action. And they have all sorts of scare windows and uh, scare pockets, but uh, like this right here, where we did the black on it, and then something is shot out with the white coming down, it just gives a whole nice um, distressed, nasty feel. They feel wet, they feel nasty and ugly. And uh, I'm just gonna get up closer and you're gonna see some of that. And we just took it all the way around. Now we're gonna take a little brush and we're gonna dry brush some of these areas and make some of the bones pop out. And there we go. So that is the first part of the catacombs. I did the second part a couple days ago. They had to tear it down, put it back up again for the second part. So. Uh, here, here we go, people. So this is what I'm working on. Uh, these certain form panels work really nice for filling in for detail. Let's get up on this knife a little closer so you can see some of that stress in action. You see on the walls there, all sorts of discrepancies. And then when they put the lighting on, it will cause drop shadows between the bricks and that will sit there and just give all that dimension. So I hope this works for you people. I hope you guys are gonna learn something. Uh, you could do this at your site, whether you're doing the thermal forms or you're putting up bones yourself. It'll work out really nice. I'm gonna show some pictures later on of it completed with the cracks and possible little gooey guys in there and it'll go from there. Boo wah people. Yes, it's been a long two weeks before you get her done. Okay, people, August 7th. I finished this yesterday. So I wanted to see you guys show ya, show ya. Little dry brushing here and there, just in key areas. That'll pick up the lighting better. And we got our windows taken care of. And we did a little dry brushing. And there's like this, just, just for highlights. 
more there. And then we're able to put in some of our ghoulie guys. So just little areas here and there. And adds interest uh, with the lighting. They will look fantastic. And uh, even with this door here, see if I don't pitch my fingers. Yeah, we'll, okay, I'm gonna, uh, here we go. Not getting any younger. Uh, yeah, so that just kind of hides the door. And there's a drop panel right there. Came through and added in all sorts of these guys. And with the lighting, it looks like they're coming out from the cracks and crevices. And this is just a neat way of filling in the blanks. So instead of just, you know, a distressed wall, throwing some cracks, throwing this. Here, just a couple dry brushed areas. No big deal. It goes quick and easy. And unfortunately, I will not be there to see this thing in action. But they assured me that with the lighting, everything, it's going to look amazing. So yesterday they had to cut the panels, so I had to come back and repaint areas after they got done cutting them up. But we have just filled in the blanks, so she feels more complete now. And then around the corner, there's another guy, hey, how you doing? Uh, we finished. This is where we had stopped days before because the other parts wasn't ready yet, but now these are all done. So all throughout here, stained. And this back here is where, if I'm not mistaken, that this portion meets up with the portion I did before with the zombie disco and things like that. The only thing we have to do is just this little section right here. This will take about 20 minutes and then the maze will be done. So just showing you guys what can be, what can you do with your thermoforms and stuff. Now you also could, you know, go through with the letter shades of green, this and that, but the black and white reflects any color any color you put to it, almost, not quite, but almost like UV. So you can do all sorts of things with it. The only thing that we did is we just added color onto the tombstone, I mean the coffins, and some of the, you know, like like this guy right here, the, the zombie, the uh, Dracula dude hanging. And it just, you know, with with this being black and white, it really pops him out, especially with the lighting. So that's gonna look very cool. For well, thanks for coming on board, people. Like, subscribe. Really struggling to get the channel going. I know some of my people out there in the airbrush world, uh, they started later than me and they're already at 100,000 subscribers and I'm at 2,500. So, hey, help out a friend. Try to tell people I'm here and uh, Get me going, I, you know, and I want 100,000 too. <laughs> you all take care, God bless, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. You take care. And again, you're seeing this in October. Take care. Oh, on a side note, we'll throw on some pictures in the back, so instead of me walking around flapping my gums, you'll be able to see a little bit better of what's, what's going on with some stills, okay? Thanks, people. Take care.